Hey guys, Prowl1701 here, and today we are going to talk about the three stories I have not seen from the Tom Baker eras uh, from the 70s and 80s. Now, uh, in most of these ones, when I've been talking about a doctor's era, I talk about the stories I have seen and stories I haven't seen, but I've seen most of Tom's run because I absolutely love Tom Baker. There's only three of his stories that I haven't seen, two from season 17 and one from season 15. Um, and I'm just going to talk about those today. Now, one of them is, uh, was it Nightmare on Eden? Um, this one's interesting because most of the time I hear it's not a really good story. Um, but every now and then I hear that it's underrated. I know Wingy Media really likes this one. He says it's a very underrated story. Um, <clears throat> so I'm curious to watch it because I'm, I'm curious whether... I'll agree with the general consensus about it, or if I'll think it's underrated, kind of like I do with the Crotons, because most people don't like the Crotons. I really enjoy the Crotons. The Dominators also falls into this one. I haven't seen the Dominators, so I want to see the Dominators just to see if it's really that bad, or if it's just, or if I'll think it's underrated. So that's really my take on uh, Nightmare on Eden, is I want to see it just to see if I'll agree with, you know, what most people say about it, or if I'll agree with a few people I hear say it's underrated. Um, just from what I've read of the story, just the basic little synopsis of the plot sounds interesting. So it's definitely the one of the three that I want to see the most. Uh, next on the list is Creature from the Pit. This one, every time I hear something about this one, it's bad. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say good things about this story. Uh, it, it always seems to be a bad story, and I know a little bit about it. I know the creature wasn't finished, so they had to like throw something together. I know that one scene where Tom's trying to communicate it looks, uh, let's just say, awkward. Uh, so I'm a little familiar with it, and I never really hear anybody talk good about it. And I'm, I'm curious just how bad it is. Like, is it is it Power of Kroll bad? Because I can't watch Power of Kroll again. That one's awful. So is this one of those I'll watch it and never ever want to see it again? Or is it one of those it will be bad, but it'll still be watchable? Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing that just to find that out. And then the third one on the list from season 15 is The Invisible Enemy. This is the one I never seem to hear anything about. This seems like the one in season 15 that's just forgettable. People forget it's there. You know, you ever seen that season where that one episode just kind of gets lost in the, in the shuffle? Like if you're talking to somebody about a season and you're rattling off episodes that are in that season, sometimes there's that one you just forget about. You know, for season 13, it's definitely uh, The Android Invasion. People always go on about how good season 13 is, but you never hear people bring up the Android Invasion. It's not good. Um, season 15 is like that, too. I mean, you have, like, great ones, like the Horror of Fame Rock, and then you have uh, the Image of the Fendal, which is really good. And then you have, like, the Sunmakers, which I personally love. I love the Sunmakers. But, you know, most people, it seems to kind of fall in their eh category. I don't hear too many people who just like it as much as I do, but I don't really hear a lot of people crapping on it either. It's just kind of, eh. And then, of course, there's, you know, Invasion of Time, which usually isn't well regarded, simply because I think they had ran out of budget by that point. And, of course, Underworld, which uh, I personally enjoy, but is plagued with special effects issues and all the bad CSO screening. Um, and you, you'll hear people talk about those, but The Invisible Enemy seems to be the one that just kind of gets lost in the shuffle that I never hear anybody talk about. Now, I'm a little familiar with what goes on in it. I know there's a kind of a special edition of it that has the upgraded special effects because I've actually watched a YouTube video comparing the old effects to the new effects. Um, and I would definitely want to watch it with the new effects, although I'd like to see a run-through of it with the old effects as well. And I know it's also the first story with K-9. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little familiar with it. I just I never hear anybody talk about it. Every now and then I'll hear somebody say it's not really that great. But it's just kind of that story that people seem to forget about when they're listing Tom Baker episodes. So I'm curious to see that just to see what kind of opinion I'll form of it. And those are really the only three stories from Tom Baker's era that I haven't seen. Um, I could have watched them by now if I wanted to, but I kind of like there still being some Tom Baker stories I haven't seen yet, so I can still watch a Tom Baker story for the first time in the future. It's kind of nice. That's one of the reasons I don't just go out of my way to find these and watch these all the time. I kind of want it special. Like, I'm really looking forward to getting my Season 8 box set. I can see three new Pertwee stories I've never seen before, good ones, um, whenever my box set finally gets here. Um, 
So, yeah, I'm curious what you think of these three episodes. Do you think Nightmare on Eden is really bad or that it's underrated? Is Creature of the Pit really that bad? And I'm curious, what do you think of The Invisible Enemy? Is it a bad story? Is it a little underrated? Or is it just kind of you know, meh? You know, like kind of like Destiny in the Dallas. It's just kind of there. Uh, I'd really like to get y'all's opinion on what you think of those three stories. I always inter I always enjoy interacting with you guys, so comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on those three stories and um, how well or not well they appeal to you. Other things to do, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. I've also started a Patreon page. If you would like to contribute to that, you can find a link to that down in the uh, description below. Most importantly, though, stay safe out there, and thank you for watching.